I'm not near the throne. Of the... All right, so well, welcome. We're going to have a live meeting at the same time. Of course, you're more important than the live meeting. <laughs> if you have any questions, you'll go first. <laughs> So is anybody new here? Who's running the meeting? Is it Mike? Yeah. Oh, I'm not, I'm not muted yet. Yep. You see if anybody has a question or anything. Or... Anybody want to raise their hand? You guys can... uh, I don't see any. All right. Well, a friend of mine's visiting from, well, now she's in Mexico. She used to be my handler. This is Coco. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah, these are my my five my five favorite people right now. <laughs> they, they're all open sky. I can I can count with one hand my favorite people. <laughs> uh, well, this, you know the message is basically uh, not directed towards a description of what we are because what we are is indescribable yeah supposedly i don't know why everyone keeps just trying to describe it but it's indescribable <laughs> incomprehensible that means it's incomprehensible to us the us that we're not and as we are we don't need to understand it we are it yes understanding it would be an unessential procedure being it is it yeah so the understanding is more about what we're not that we can understand to understand what we are it doesn't work because you'd have to be something else to understand what you are and in this case a lot of things you are something else and you can understand but in this case the assumption of non-duality is you are what you're looking for or being ourselves reality so you can't use reality to search for reality. Yeah. It would be it would have a completely different use and agenda, which was which would be obscuring the fact that you're reality. Yeah. Now the storyline never starts from there. You actually believe you're going to arrive somewhere. You're going to prepare yourself to be what you already are. You're going to purify something. And by that being purified, you'll be able to receive what you are, but you're that, yeah? So all that's out the window. Yeah? And what thinks like that isn't you. What thinks like that is a self-centered mental condition, which has it no matter what, if there's a new self or a pure self or a transcendent self, there's always, it's always going to be held as a self, yeah? So a self is going to be wishing to become a transcendent self. Yeah. It can't imagine anything without it, it's, it included. Yeah. It can't imagine its absence. It would bear imagining its absence. Yes. You see, it, it's fundamentally flawed, F-L-A-W-E-D. Yeah. It's fundamentally flawed, and it's not going to be unflawed how many times you try to use it. Yeah, you can twist it and bend it and call it pure and and uh, radical and this, but it's basically a knot that can't get out of itself. Yeah. So what do you see? You're not the knot. That's all. Yeah. All the talking about what it's like to be a knot, what it's like to not be a knot, how great that would be. You're not that. Yeah. Yes. So the knot. Taking the assumption that it's a knot can only dream of being unknotted, yeah? But the dreaming of being unknotted is used to reaffirm the knot, yeah? So your wish for transcendence gives a reality to that which you feel like you're captured by. How are you going to get out of it? How are you going to get out of it? You don't get out of it. That's the whole point. You don't go fucking anywhere. Yeah, that's the great news. Because right where you are, no matter where that is, how it is, or where it thinks it's going to be, or where it was, you're that. Yeah? So, so there's a lot of stuff that can happen frame by time that isn't happening. 
Yeah, it's appearing to happen. It needs you to see it appear to happen. And it's actually the faith that comes through you in that which gives it the reality of an appearance. It can't have a reality, but it can appear to be true. Yeah, it, but it has to have what's true to appear to be true too. Yeah, when something like we have a thing in AA, an acronym for fear. Can you hear me in there? Yeah, we have a thing called uh, FEAR, false evidence appearing real. Yeah. So false evidence being presented in the head and it's appearing real. But to what or how? How does false evidence appear real? It must be appearing real to nothing or something. Yes, there, there's got to be an audience that's saying yay or nay to the play. Yeah. For the play to be witnessed, you have to not be in the play. You'd have to be in the audience to see that there's a play. Yeah. So this idea of false evidence appearing to be real needs what's real for it to appear to be real to. Reality has to lend itself to that false evidence for it to appear to be real. There has to be a belief as a reaction to the, uh, to the false evidence for it to appear to be real. False evidence doesn't appear to be real. It doesn't transform itself. Yeah, it doesn't right in front of your eyes. It doesn't morph into real. Yeah, it just appears to be real to us. So the false evidence is presented and then there's a magic. There's a magician. And I don't say there's a thing, but let's say there's magic that when magic sees the false evidence, the false evidence appears to be real to it. Yeah. Now, False evidence can be appearing to be real to you right now, and that false evidence is not appearing to be real to me. Yeah. So you can be totally flipped out and sit right next to me, and it's not contagious. I'm not catching the flip out, because maybe at the same moment, other false evidence is appearing to be real to me. It's just not that false evidence that's appearing to be. So at that moment, I have an immunity. <laughs> and in a way, you have an immunity to this. That's the only bargain you get when it comes to self-centeredness. Yeah. <laughs> you have your own fucking private Ido in a way. Yeah, so false evidence appearing to be real. Now, we're not going into the specifics of how many examples of evidence that is that are false that can appear to be real. It's a principle. You're attempting to see something instead of all the particulars of this appeared to be real. No, lift up and see all is false evidence, truly. And yeah. And a lot of it, not all of it, appears to be real. Yeah. Who, which is the determining factor? It's not the false evidence, is it? No, because the quality of all the false evidence is false. Not one of them has the quality of appearing to be real. It's false evidence. But we, yeah, we have that quality. We can make mountains out of molehills. We can see... We can be affected by what's not happening. We can believe in false evidence, and then the false evidence appears to be real. And how does it real? How does it deliver its appearance of being real? It produces an effect. Yeah, it produces an effect on us. But the Course in Miracles would call it a causeless effect. It's an effect, but it's not true because it's bit, it came from false evidence. Yeah. So the, the absence of any reality in the evidence gives it no ability to cause shit, really. But yet our believing it allows it to cause and produce an effect. So it is a causeless effect. What do you do about that? How many fires do you want to put out until you got to sit down and go, hey, bro, you're out a lot of fires, man. Maybe you're playing the role as the fire starter without knowing it. Yeah. And maybe if you see that, hey, I am not that which says it's the fire starter. I'm not saying, see, you're not the fire starter. That's another step you don't need. You can just see you're not that that believes it's the fire starter. 
Yeah. What happens? Not so many fires get started. Why? Because the engage your engagement has changed with it. Yeah. You're not giving it all the meaning it has anymore. You're not giving false evidence the meaning of being real. Something has happened. Yes. Something has been seen, and something that never happened is not happening. Yeah. It never did happen, but now it's actually not happened. So you're traveling lighter. Yeah. The head is constantly presenting false evidence, but basically it needs you, needs us, whatever that is, right, to engage for it to appear to be real. And when it appears to be real, it appears, it appears to be able to cause a real effect which isn't a real effect anyway, but it's a real effect, yeah? And therefore we get lost and we buy tons of pills and whatever and go to therapy, whatever, to try to stop that effect, but we don't see the how it's being caused. It's us, yeah? Yeah? It's, it's having faith in false evidence. Yeah? And that faith in false evidence is allowing you Appear to be real to us. So we're seeing it the way we want to see it. Yeah. So what happens there? Let's give you a pair of, let's say, new glasses. You don't have to buy a pair. We'll lend it to you. We lend it to you every Saturday, every Wednesday, every Tuesday, Thursday, every Tuesday afternoon. Here's a pair of glasses. All right. They come from the, uh, the non dual optometrist. Okay. Now look at what's going on with this understanding being ourselves reality. Let's say that. Or the understanding is what's looking, not who's looking. What's looking is what you're looking for. Or the understanding that you can't, that which can be perceived cannot be perceiving. Or the understanding that you can't use the Buddha to seek the Buddha. Yeah. Okay. Put it on. Now see the stream of whatever is going on. And something will be highlighted that's not highlighted with the old pair of glasses called self sentence Yeah. So see, wait a minute. Wait one minute. Yeah. And so now what comes up is the understanding of non-duality brings into stark contrast the dualistic understanding. Yeah. That there, if there's an action, there must be an actor. If there's a seeing, there's got to be a seeing. Yeah. That's the fundamental basis of the whole narrative most of us listen to all day. The whole narrative is based on that which can be perceived is what's perceiving. I'm conscious, Paul. This, I'm definitely the seer, the hearer, the feeler, the taster, the toucher, the thinker, yeah? the doer of everything. Everything that's ever happened in the life of Paul, I did it. Yeah. Now, I don't know how, I don't remember. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see it coming, but in any court in the in the land, I'll be, I'll be convicted. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, the non-duality understanding is really about understanding the activity that you could call what you're not. That's what it is. It's not looking for true evidence. It's just seeing false evidence. That's false evidence. Yeah. Yeah. What happens? I don't know. Find out. I would hate to describe it because it would it could ruin it for you. Because I may describe it how it came through this little convoluted set of pipes, that it may not come through that convoluted set of pipes the same way. It'll be the same force, but it it will appear to be different. So I feel I find it it's so much better to find out than to know. Yeah, seriously. The no's got to go because it conceptualizes. You don't capture the river by grabbing a, you know, a pail of water and going home with it. Yeah, you got the water, but you don't have the rivering. Yeah, the rivering is the message. Yeah, the seeing, hearing, feeling, tasting, touching, thinking, not thinking, acting, not acting, all of that, all of that movement, yes? There's no one behind it, and there's no one that gets arrived to by it, yeah? You're something other than it, yeah? I don't know what you are, and I don't care. I really don't. I think it's a mystery, completely. We use terms like grace or, you know, the beloved and Sufism or something, 
they're just nice ways of pointing at an unimaginable condition because first of all, this Geiger counter can't pick it up. It's not, that's not what it's here for. This Geiger pe counter picks, you know, picks up fool's yeah. gold. <laughs> that's what it picks up. It sees, it sees, you know, excitement. It sees the boredom as excitement. It's, you know, it, as long as it's all about me. <laughs> yeah. So that's why it's beautiful when in satsang, something stops the head and you're still going. Yeah. So the head stops. You're trying to get it, grasp, wish it was stabilized. I had it once. I hope to do it. I hope I can get it back when I go to Mexico, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then suddenly the whole thing stops and you, you see the emperor with no clothes. You see all of these devices you call yours, they aren't. Your, the, the mental device of understanding is not yours. It's not your understanding. It's its understanding. It has actually, it began, and then it may say it arrives, but it began, it begins in a dualistic framework. And it basically, it makes, you know, it's on this two lane highway and it may call one lane, the one hot thing, but it's a two lane highway. Yeah. There's always going to be you and oneness, you merging into oneness. Yeah. You escaping duality. Yes. It's always going to be another written into the story. You got to realize it. It doesn't change no matter how many miles you go down the highway. It's a two two lane road. It's the way it goes. Yeah. Experiences come, they go. Conditions happen, they change. Yeah. Uh, you're on a half a second time delay. So you're not even on the pulse of living. You're waiting for the head to tell you you're living. Yeah. It gets more extreme where some people, they're at a day and they, they don't know what happened. And then at eight o'clock at night, the head finally breaks the news to them. You had a bad day. And then you start looking at who caused that bad and then resentments are happening. And this is what happens. Without that presence being really present, it always is, but to have it noticeable, a lot of shenanigans can happen. <laughs> that actually what's happening can be filled with what's not happening. Seriously. And you can't tell the difference. Yeah. You can't just you can't recognize the here from the mental here. Yeah. You're thinking the mental here is the only here. Yeah. And the mental now is yesterday and tomorrow and now and now this very small, you know, dissected second and then with this massive weight of past and future, when it's completely the opposite. All there is is now, and those are like clouds, past and future. But the way the head has it, these are the heavy fucking things of time. And now it's just a fucking passive little minute for me to be worried about, um, do they have enough oat milk at the cafe so I can get my oat milk coffee? Yeah, that's the only point, is to be thinking about me and what I need and what... Yeah, now, yeah, so here you are. All right, I bought a book, 800 page description. I get it, I know what I am. No, you don't. No, you just got to be given another picture. You can't see your real face, so it gives you a picture. And, oh, I'm the indescribable void. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> no light leaves me. <laughs> no, turn whatever curiosity you have in the right direction. Look at what you're not. It's right in front of you. It's going on right now. And there's no, and the reason why a lot of times this little pimple of a Paul doesn't want to look at it is to believe it's doing it. And you're not. It's mechanical. The mental state is making this shit up. How it has you really captured is it, it, there's a taking it as a person very personally. And of course, it's always inserted that I, I'm the doer of this. I separated from Godhead. I mean, Jesus, who wants that to be brought up as an everyday topic? 
I'd rather fucking avoid that at all costs. If I've, I made all this shit up, are you crazy? Yeah. So basically, you know, you see what you're not. It's simple. It's very, very simple. You're using the same information that's being presented and it, you're going to another conclusion. One conclusion is this is all about me. The other conclusion, it's not about me. Yeah, <laughs> basically. And what's going to make it all about me and not about me isn't all that shit. It's what's before. The, the all about me is before and then everything is all about me. And it not about me is before and then I travel lighter through this whole realm of all about me. Yeah, it's not produced by the activity. It's before the activity. Yes, the head is going to keep doing what it does. And yet you can see it and, be, and it can have a great use to point out I'm not that or it can be used the same old, same old, which is to reinforce this idea of being the suspicious, but I'm completely sure, yeah, of a thing that I did so much shit again. <laughs> yes, it doesn't matter the, the presentation, it's the audience, yeah, so the, the non-dual understanding is not a fucking shit hits the fan it's about the hallway of shit and fans and your role in triggering the fan and the shit in the hallway of shit and fans and to realize it's not a clarion call for you to stop doing that it's just telling the truth you are not that which is seemingly doing it you're not that which is seemingly doing it it's not like okay here's another thing i have to get over no just fucking tell the truth yeah Worrying about next week. It's not a it's not you worrying about next. And it's not a you that shouldn't be worrying about next week. There's just worrying about next week. Yeah. There's just like my beat up truck is missing for two seconds. Someone stole it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You didn't do that. You never did it. The head does. The head does it. The head does it. Yeah. And yet the reaction to it, when you're seeing it as all about me, you got to be the doer of it all, the thinker of it all, the seer of it all, the hearer of it all. When it's not about you, there's an incredible escape clause. Yeah, true. Yeah. The same stuff, nothing changes. Yeah, because if you try to this thing, if you base a, hey, come on in. Yeah. <laughs> If you base your condition on this condition, yeah, it's severely limited. It's defined, it's programmed. It's not even AI. It's not official, it's not artificial intelligence. It's not growing in depth and clarity. It isn't. It has it has ceilings. That's that. Yeah. It has it's got a pay scale and it doesn't get paid beyond its pay scale. Yeah. So the head is going to keep doing what the head does, but now it isn't you doing it, and it's not you being done to by it. Yes, that's all the difference is, and it's a huge difference. Yeah, and when you entertain that idea, the hugeness of the relief will verify the fact and the truth of what we present. It's just that simple. Yeah, it has nothing to do with everything getting great. It has to do with the preoccupation of this you that wants everything to get great. You lose that preoccupation. Yeah? Even though it's still preoccupied, you're not. Yeah? And so now the same information that was being used to reinforce it is pointing out its unreality. What an incredible great use. Yeah? This is like an AA. AA pre pre brings you into a situation where there's something going on that takes what you saw as not valuable at all and gives great value to it. This is a, a minor example of the same spirit, yeah? Which is the same yapping, the same reactions, the same feelings that go along with certain situations. They don't have to change at all. What, nothing changes. You just don't see them as yours. That's all. You just, you're not the one. Yeah. It's not about, all right, I'm not the one. Now I gotta get super great of you. Just tell them it's all in there. Yeah. When it says you're fucked, oh great. You know. When it tells you, oh, you're unfucked, great. Yeah. 
uh, you're going to be destitute, right? You're not going to be destitute, right? Yeah. Uh, here's one. You're never going to be loved. Oh, yeah. And then you, you go back. I've been hearing that since, I guess, 1968, 69. <laughs> All right. Don't you have any new material whatsoever? Nope. No, because it always worked. Why would I ever have to upgrade the material if, if I caught the fish every day? I'm not going to get super lures. <laughs> Just throw the fucking worm and the fish comes jumping. Well, now something's happened. Yes. False evidence is appearing as false evidence. And instead of arriving at, oh, I'm that, you arrive, I'm not that. Yeah. That's why we wouldn't do the I am. We would do the I am not. <laughs> That's the more important than the I am. Because the I am is fine and dandy. It's the I am not that wants to find itself as the I am is the drag. Yeah. <laughs> More direction, really. It's just direction. It's just as if you look like through one pipe this way, and then maybe if you look the other way, it's the same pipe, but you may some see some, you may see differently. Yeah. So the understanding of non-duality is to bring out the misunderstandings that this dualistic event has been relying on. Yes. That's all. And then let's see the forest gets to be seen. Maybe a few trees have to get cut down, but the whole thing doesn't. All you need is a few trees, and then you'll see the space of it all. Yeah? You don't need 800,000 examples. It's, you have a certain critical mass, maybe one, maybe 50, maybe 25. And instead of getting in the rough and tumble, you know, uh, you know, washing machine of life, you can come to satsa. It's the easiest, softer way. You sit here in this space, understanding is presented, but you see anew, yeah, you go home. And then after a couple of weeks, something may be happening and you didn't do much at all to seem to promote it. You're not doing shit, really. You're not hyperventilating before you come to satsang. You're not like doing 50 fucking push-ups with Ramana's picture from <laughs> You know, you're not doing anything like that. You're just living seemingly. You drop in. Things become more clear. I mean, and it's nice to have clarity reinforced, not the fucking false evidence, is it? Jesus Christ. Same shit. Hap something's happening. One may be used to bring about clarity. One reinforces what's not happening. Yes. It's the same information. It's what's before. That's where it's not, that's the target of non-duality. The target of non-duality isn't harm reduction. There was a tons of groups for that. It isn't like getting your physical and mental condition healthy. It's nice, but it, that's not the target. The target is you are what you're looking for. Yeah? The seeker and the sort get shrunk to the seeker is the sort. Yeah? The tunis. No, it's like bam, just like that. When you have self-inquiry, the idea of who you're not asks the, another idea of who you're not, who are you? And then bam, they negate each other and there you are, like always. You, do you think it would, it's after this that you appear? You've been always here. This just stops what can be stopped. It doesn't start what can't be started. It stops what can, what can be stopped. Your head stops, and there you are. It's, it isn't like, okay, I'm waiting, as you are, waiting for the head to stop. There I am, my one second, no, and then back. No. Well, you're, <laughs> what you are is always available at all times. Now, yeah? Uh, the interest and attention that seems to be uh, fulfilling and enlivening our lives is being directed by the mental condition. So we're not seeing the obvious. We're like the fish in the water that doesn't know it's wet. Has no idea. Yeah? So here you go. <sighs> Has it changed from Canada? No. A little, yeah. <laughs> I've gotten older, that's about it. I mean, people I've known come from 2008. 
Anything new? Nothing new. There's nothing new in non-duality for 2022. There's nothing. It's an invitation. You don't wait. And the point is, you know this, we're not talking to Coco. We're talking around Coco. Coco is sort of like the rock and the message is the water. The message is the water is just seeking how to go around the rock. Yes? Yes. So it's current. Its flow doesn't get broken. Yeah? Because what happens if the water gets captured? It gets stagnant, right? What happens? Shit lands on the surface. Now it's not even reflective anymore. When you look, you see the leaves. You can't even see the water, and you can't see the sky in the water, that's for sure. This is all the shit on it, because a rock has sort of caught it in a current, and it's not moving anymore. And shit that would be moving with it, yeah, and was all that was moving with it wasn't blocking its reflective nature, but now that ah, it can. Now that mass and that size of that leaf can block the water. So when you look at it, all you see is leaves, yeah? That's not mind. The mind is like water. Its nature is to reflect. So we're reflecting nothing now. When you see what you're not, there's a reflection of nothing, yeah? That mirror is now not, the appearances in the mirror isn't the mirror, yeah? And if there's one appearance in the mirror, it's no different than 30 appearances in the mirror. 30 appearance does not make the mirror the appearance. One appearance in the mirror does not make the mirror the appearance. 8,000 appearances in the mirror does not make the mirror the appearances. Yes? The mirror, this is like an old Buddhist thing. It said the, you know, the, what was it? The essence of, of mind is empty, the nature is reflective, and its manifestation is energetic, yeah? So that's the dreaming. So we are the mirror in a sense, yeah, in this little activity. This mirror can reflect what can't be seen, yeah? By looking into the mirror and seeing past the appearances, there's something else there, yeah? It's not the mirror, it's not the appearances, yeah? It's a reflection of mind. You don't have to wait for no appearances to be in the mirror, nor do you have to polish it, like the old story of the Zen patriarch. The highest, the guy was going to be made the new patriarch because he said, well, I spent time polishing the mirror, and the, this fucking bum who actually was the real patriarch said, what mirror? Fuck, who the fuck's <laughs> polishing it? It's perfectly reflective in and of itself. It doesn't need any polishing. All you'll see is your big head <laughs> polishing it. <laughs> so, yeah, yes. And you can feel like when it's like when that flow, that verbing is, has been caught in, let's say, a gravitational pull of a rock, yes? And basically, you're left just based on speculation, you're not seeing shit. Things aren't, you're not, there's not a reflection of blue is blue. You're just believing a lot of shit. Yeah, you don't have any, you can believe one thing one day and another another because there's no roots. Yeah, because you're not having that sense of really, you know, like that aha. Yeah, it doesn't have the, the Petri dish to thrive in. Yeah, all you do is shoot start shooting for another aha to become a great collector of ahas when they're not that they're an indication of something much larger than that momentary whack yes so, yeah so happy to be able to come here and uh, share and be and see coco and tommy and everyone nor everyone might Thank God there's not vast multitudes at these meetings. I would be able to remember the name. I used to call John, John of God, but that John of God's got some bad uh, mojo going. Oh, so we got to just call him John so now. John of God. Yeah. <laughs> so any questions or any uh, shares or anything in there? Um, yeah. Uh, we, uh, he has his hand up. I, we apologize for not being here at one o'clock. 
right. Did you, so you ready for Javi? I'm ready for Javi, yes. Okay. Hello, hello Paul. Gluten <laughs> free. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Can you yeah. hear me? I'll try to say. Perfectly. Uh, it's very good to see you again. Um, I just would like to share this last year for me uh, like a roller coaster, feeling a lion, feeling a sheep, feeling a lion, like a lion, feeling like a sheep, back and forth, back and forth at different periods of time. Uh, and this Toyota uh, is designed uh, in a way that is very extreme, traveling very light and suddenly traveling very, very, very heavy. And that makes the trip a little bit bumpy. But uh, I just wanted to tell you that uh, I, I haven't been attending the meetings uh, because it has been a very intense year, but I was following all the all the YouTube videos, and uh, there were two things that helped me so much. Uh, I remember you, you always say that you throw many balls to the Death Star, hoping that one of them breaks through, right? And uh, one of the balls for me, when I was feeling very, very uh, light, traveling lighter and feeling happiness, um, uh, I, I heard you saying uh, that happiness can rock the boat. Happiness can rock the boat. That um, went to the innermost. Happiness can rock the boat. And the other thing, the other ball that you throw to me was that uh, when you were pointing to the Zoom meeting and you said that the loss of interest in the self-centered operation, you, there is a point in which you see yourself like a little square. You lose interest. You are just one little square bit among thousands of squares and, and, and you lose track of that little thing. And I'm very grateful for these two balls that hit the target. And uh, after that, uh, acceptance showed up. Acceptance and gratitude. And that all of a sudden, I found that that's the premium seat. That's not just the seat, the regular seat at the cinema, that you are watching the film, you are aware of the screen, but the film keeps going. And this Toyota likes action movies, suicidal movies, <laughs> and very romantic and poetic and creativity. I am a musician that makes things very complicated because of the sensitivity, extreme sensitivity. And uh, acceptance and gratitude that I learned from you lead me, I don't know how, to the premium seat. And I am having a, a very simple life. Uh, lots of lattes, lots of sun, and I'm just getting ready to go to Italy to celebrate with you and have a lot of good pasta and good food and keep learning from you because you have been the person who showed me, I am, you, you, I wear glasses all my life, the same glasses, but you, you lend me the other glasses that you were just talking about. And I just feel this, this great, this gratitude for you and for everything and for being alive because I thought, uh, that life was, was not worth living at certain times. And during this year, I, I even had to take medication when the traveling very heavy was unbearable. And uh, I went back and forth, back and forth, 
but then acceptance and gratitude showed up unexpectedly and that's why i'm here just to thank you and to let you know that although september is not a very good time for me because i'm a music uh, teacher and the school year begins in september i've i i i'm working on a special permit from the from the institution i work to uh, to come to italy because uh, I, I can't wait to, to see you and, and it, it sounds like fun. <laughs> we'll have fun. Um, Thank you, and Paul. Paul, you have to unmute because because uh, of your wind, I muted you while the hobby was talking. Thanks, Javi. Can Thank you, you. Hear me, Paul. Paul? Oops. Uh, yes, there you go. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you, Javi, so much. Thank you. Uh, but as the Toyota, yeah, the Toyota is uh, what travels lighter or heavy. You know, the Toyota needs a change of oil. A Toyota is going to show some wear on the treads. Not you. That's the pure. pure this isn't about escaping the effects of the Toyota. It's about traveling lighter through the effects of the Toyota. Like That's life right. is going to do what it's going to do, but you'll find that you've been traveling lighter through it. Because a lot of times, what can't take the road is the Toyota, it's not you. Yeah? Yeah. And, so, and the idea of losing interest is not something that you can do it's a result that you observe. By hearing satsang, I would say one of the results that you're going to observe is you're going to lose interest in seeking. You're going to lose interest in the need to be liberated. You'll be freed from that need to be liberated because you, you'll see that that which needs to be liberated isn't you. You're going to lose interest in a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's not as something you went set out to do, but it's an observing of a result of hearing, hearing satsang, hearing it, not being the hearer of satsang, but hearing satsang. Yes, there's a difference. Hearing is, hearer is sort of like, uh, it's like, you know that meal and then you freeze it and then you try to have it again. It's not as good as when it was fresh, you know, it's sort of like that. So. The hearing of the message, and over the years, uh, you know, it's inevitable that the house of cards is going to fall down. It can't stand on its foundation. Yeah, you don't see when it's all reshuffled because you just the idea that it's a house of cards follows. Yeah, even when it's under uh, construction and rechanging, you always just see it the same way from where you're looking. Yeah, from the from the attendee of the house of cards. When you see the house of cards from outside of it, you see it's constantly collapsing and collapsing. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I'm very happy to see Javi, and it's amazing that I remember when that character uh, kidnapped you in outside of Dublin, and they he was driving across the field and they all in the little Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> you were looking like a puppy that was taken away from your mother. <laughs> you were surprised that she, you actually showed back up a few hours later. I know, I know, I know. I remember, I remember. So, and I'm, I, I'm, very, I'm very happy that you're, you're coming to Italy. So, you know what I mean? I'm very happy that you're coming to Italy. It's very close to Spain. So oh, it's yeah. going to be very, very easy for me. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should take an insurance policy out. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Don't scare me. <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing you. So, all yeah, right. I'll Thank be there. You. Nice. Nice. Anyone Thank else? You. Yeah. Uh, Bruce is up. And I'll, I'm going to mute you for a bit while we listen, while we hear his question. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, it's because yeah. Don't so forget to unmute. Okay. All right, I guess I'm unmuted. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? All right, you can hear me then. Oops. Hold on, let me okay, meet this other person. Hold on. Uh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, this is kind of my first time really using Zoom. Anyway, I want to thank everyone first off. If I forget, I want to get to the uh, interest. Anyway, Paul, um, great getting to know you. I was born in 54 in Rockville Center. For about five years, I was there. And then uh, AA, Course in Miracles, the non-duality. I had the white light in 74. Uh, I didn't have non-duality though. <laughs> so all these years, anyway, learning to do the two-step or tango with zenbitchslap.com instead of uh, the gorilla. So now having uh, been led or followed the lead, your lead, um, to this point of losing interest, um, feeling like uh, no interest left, um, kind of flatlined in a sense, not in a bad way, in a neutral kind of way. It's, it's great, but all this time uh, watching, you know, and without your guidance, um, and especially the format, you know, the AA format, you know, I, there's nothing like it. I found nothing like it. So anyway, I just wanted to share my appreciation with you and uh, continue to, you know, be one amongst with all of you. So thank you very much, everyone. So if you have any, uh, you know, at this point of no interest or apparent no interest, seemingly so, uh, what's up? You can unmute me now or mute me now, Mike. You look Okay, uh, yeah, nearby. I just got to get Paul to unmute. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. You live pretty nearby now. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> nice to see you, my friend. Uh, anyone who can live through, even for five years, live through <laughs> a lot of respect. That's where I grew up, this town. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's... that's uh, Sometimes the attention and interest has to park and then it gets rearranged. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny what happens when the space is empty, you can actually see things show up. Yeah. Things pull in. I'm in going through. <laughs> I'm extremely interested in. Uh, putting aluminum pieces on a camper. That were, that were story. That's what I'm doing, and I'm looking for something else. There's a 1960. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back to my senses after if I share this. There's a 1960 panel truck, the last you know, they made these panel trucks. Yes, I'm thinking of trying to get that. And that would be another restoring, yeah? Yeah. So I had no interest in any of this a couple of months ago. And I've got, and our yard, we have a very big yard where we rent and uh, no interest in yard work ever. <laughs> Seriously, now I have an interest in yard work. So, this is a little pause, my friend, and then other things will show up. Yes? Okay. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's all faith, uh, you know, just having, uh, just to watch, watch it all um, as not me, yeah. <laughs> seeing it all, just see, um, not even seeing, but, uh, you know, the idea of it happening. Yes, yes. And it's... it's and then, uh, you know, the funny thing is, a lot of the concerns from the head turn prophetic. And it's great when they're all proven to be bogus. <laughs> Seriously, you know what that's I mean? What's, that's what's been so helpful. 
yeah, that 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 journey. Well, I'll say journey. The the apparent time period of the yeah going through all that. <laughs> well, yeah. So let's say it tells you there's a cliff coming. There's a cliff coming. You and yet it doesn't inform you. You're entering. <laughs> I have no problem. Just jump off. <laughs> right. Taking off. Yeah. The cliff was a perfect runway. It's time. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. Is the... yeah. So thanks, everyone. Yeah. You can give some... I'll be around. You know what was a trip? This happened to me five, five years ago. Uh, we were We went to this neighborhood, and I bought a plant. Yeah. Now I bought this plant because I'd seen one right at this church where we have these meetings. After the meeting, you'll see them. I saw this plant with about 800 other similar plants. It's mind boggling. And so I uh, was interested in it and I knew this was the plant. So I got it. it. Hasn't flowered for four years. And this year it's flowered. It's fucking this thing comes out and it looks like the flower wants to be totally disassociated from the plant that it comes from. It's hanging way out here on this incredible umbilical cord. Just, just blows my mind. So finally, you know, got it. Didn't have any great expectations. So, and then it shows up this year. Nice, eh? Very nice. So I had an interest, the interest sort of uh, hibernated. Now it's now I'm out that yard, checking it out every morning. Yeah. So that interest sometimes, when it's really spread out, you don't know it as interest. Yeah, I would say that's presence, really. <laughs> presence is undirected interest and attention, really. And so and so sometimes the interests are not as specific. Yeah, they're vague and they allow things to come in that you get interested in. Yeah, you didn't you didn't order it. You didn't, you know, buy it from Amazon. You just walk, you know, got life and then certain things just show up. Yeah, it's cool. Eh? Yeah. To me, that's one of the aspects of traveling lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unlike unlike you, I'm I've been isolated through, in a sense through all this, which uh, has been to an, my advantage in a in a way, you know, not all that outside stimulus. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, so as you say, I feel I feel like I'm open and ready to re to receive in a sense. Uh, the more, as you not not more, as you say, but you know. Yes. It's great. It's great. I just feel I feel open and clean and alive. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, glad I I'm glad I didn't know this when I went through step four. Uh, I think the, the challenge to to be uh, to be honest and share every every iota of everything, um, and to to do just the the act of doing well the act of doing that, um, without knowing all this. That that was I think the biggest hurdle, you know, digging up, digging that yeah. guilt and shame up, you know. It's still, it's still hard, you know, floats around here and there like clouds. Unfortunately, I know it's not me. Yes. Thanks, thanks again. There's other people I'm sure that want to share. Well, fantastic. Well, we're going to end soon, I think. So, yeah. But anyone else? Uh, no other hands showing. You want to ask? Yeah, someone here wants to ask. Oh. Oh. Uh, no one else? All right. Well, what time is it now? Uh, okay. 10 after. Yeah. Hey, yeah, we're going to end, all right? Uh, it never ends. <laughs> it never begins. <laughs> it never ends. It doesn't begin. All right. So, yeah, let me say hello to Mike. Mike, thank you. Thank you for uh, regrouping and getting us on today. Yeah, I'm going to have to... We'll have to do a little tutorial so that I know how to actually get it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so busy, I have no time. <laughs> and we have Kathleen. Nice to see you, Kathleen. Lovely day. I'm trying to see these names. Uh, we got David L. 
David Lowe looking very high. That's yeah. pretty good. I seen you in person four or five times. Got your book. It's been cool. Oh, good. Great. Tariq from Dover. Hey, Tariq, I'm going to Dover. I think the end of June. I don't think I'll. I don't think I'll be able to find you there, but I'm gonna look. For you. <laughs> oh, probably not. <laughs> and nice to see you. Yeah. Roman, as always. Kurt, thank you. Uh, Kurt, you're looking like the the uh, the primary couple of a cult with the white. It's scary there, right? Eh? Are they like a cult that they thought a spaceship was behind the sun? We're in Maui. They wore Nike sneakers or something. Wow, that's trippy. All right, I'll join the cult if Kurt and Linda they're there. Yeah. We got Javi, my main man from, uh, I can't wait to see you, bro. Yes, you're a character. Yeah. And uh, now we have a new friend, Bruce, from uh, Origins of, from Rockville Center, Long Island. Oh, uh, a hotbed of <laughs> non-duality. <laughs> St. Agnes Cathedral. Uh, <laughs> Michael Stacy. Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Now that's where my parents are from. They were Hell's Kitchen. It's a tenement in Manhattan. Irish tenement. Hell's Kitchen. Yes. My mother's claim for fame was that she hid Dutch Dutch Schultz underneath her bed. The gangster Dutch Schultz. <laughs> That was a story. She told me that story so many times. Yes. <laughs> Michael Stacy, David Bitterman, I heard you had a lot to do with this getting it together, man. All right. I'm going to call you the fireman from now on. All right. We've got, uh, and thanks for people who stuck around. We've got Mike C, and he's somewhat horizontal. I mean, prone, vertical. It's good. Tommy. Johannes from Germany. Nice to see you, Johannes. Lucas. Bill Churchman. Someone on the iPhone making something that looks very good. There she is. Oh, Janine. Janine. Free. How are you, Janine? We got Wayne from uh, Damada. Nice to meet you, Wayne. Kaylin from Romania, always a pleasure. We got Stuart from Mars. We got Grateful oh, Dave. We got Dono. We got Chris. Chris and the cot, the cot and the horse. We got Leah. There she is. Deborah. Ashley. Ashley's two places. Oh, no, the two Ashley's. No, or the two sides of Ashley. All right. We got Oliver. Uh, let's see. Ash, Holly, Ariane, phone numbers. What is Vladislaw? I think Susan. Sorry if I missed your name. Hey, thank you, everyone, for coming. Thanks for holding out, and uh, we'll see each other soon. Janine, we'll call you up soon. Go swimming over there. Oh, here's the daughter. She's uh, the, the Romanian gal. There she is. How are you? All right. All right. See you, everyone. Thank you. Bye.